the core competency of Blue Rock revolves around taking a cell from a healthy person, making this into a stem cell, and then this stem cell we then derive or differentiate into many different types of medicines. So we have processes in place to make brain cells to treat neurological disorders, as well as processes in place to generate heart cells to treat heart failure. And all of the indications that we're currently pursuing, they have in common that they are diseases with high unmet need. And because we think that this is where we can have the biggest impact with our type of therapies. So as you can imagine, to take one cell, make it first into a stem cell, and then differentiating it into many different types of functional medicines is actually technically really challenging and as you've heard one of our key therapeutic areas is actually heart failure so during a heart attack a patient's heart cells become damaged and lost and that leads to dysfunction of the heart and ultimately it will lead to heart failure and the current treatment option is that you get a heart transplant and that is challenging because not just due to the fact that there just isn't enough organs around to treat everyone who would need it. So what we now do with our platform is that we make heart cells from the stem cells and then those heart cells we will inject into the damaged area of the heart where they replace the cells that have been lost and thereby restore the function of the heart. So these are now day 20 cardiomyocytes which we derive from our stem cells and normally in science you don't see a lot but cardiomyocytes are different because they already behave I can move around a bit so they already behave like heart in a dish I like to call it because they already eat spontaneously and synchronously like cells do in the body what is really nice is it's also kind of a quality control because those cells already behave like they would in a patient. It gives us high confidence that when we give those cells to the patient that they are functional and then there will be real benefit to the patient. It's spontaneous right now and, and when it is engrafted in the heart, it's pulsed by the other cells that are in the heart and it gets the inputs from the nervous system. But yes, heart cells beat spontaneously unless they get the overriding signal. 